what's going on people it's me Elson back with another video on unlocking HTTP injector as a file without root access as you have right without root access before getting started with the video I want to warn you people that this video is for educational purposes only so do not am any other people and do not attempt to any illegal activity so without doing delay let's get started with the tutorial first you need to have the internet connection that may be your mobile data or Wi-Fi connection so for demonstration purpose here I am using my Wi-Fi connection and the second thing is you need to have uh, HTTP injector APK that must be latest and the latest build is 84 build which is 4.4.1 so you can update it through play store and the other third one is this the important apk that is called ssl capture you can get it from play store just search for ssl capture and you will see the first apk under your screen just head over to it and then install it now open the http injector here you need to have your log PSF file so for demonstration purpose I have used two ESFSI file so one is locked and another same file is unlocked so first I am going to show you the locked one so you can check here everything is locked you can check SSS tunnel everything is locked and you cannot see any host any remote proxy so just start the HTTP injector and go to the lock section when the connection is established uh, you can see that there is the key icon on your status bar that means HTTP injector is running correctly now open SSL capture and give the permission you need to allow all the required permission and here you need to install a certificate on your smartphone that is SSL capture CA certificate press on ok and click on not now go to settings and make sure you have enabled that auto parse package data this is the important step so enable the auto parse packet data now go to the capture section and on the upper right corner you will see a green icon just enable that icon after click on it just give the permission of our VPN and you will see that HTTP injector is running on the every screen just tap on it and under the response head you can see that HTTP 1.204 no content that means SSS tunnel is not working in your HTTP injector so go back to HTTP injector go to your home uh, and you can go to SSS settings and just enable the SSS tunnel so when it get connected you need to get back to the SSL certificate capture and on the upper right you can see the HTTP injector and under response head you can see connection has been established so on request head you can see that connect scp one dot boost ip dot co so these all are your payload that means from through this information you can create your payload you can get your host you can, you can get your everything that are needed to make a new ESI file that means you have successfully unlocked your yes i file so that you can make your own now just stop this and let me show you the unlocked file that has same configuration 
here i am showing it just to prove that you will so you can check that this is the payload you can also take the sss setting look over it you can check the sss host sss port everything is open in this and you can go back and take the screenshot so that you can it will be easier for you to compare the payload when you generate a new one so now i will get back to the notes and copy some i will paste that previous payload that i got from ssl capture this is this is the important steps because here through this step you can get all the information of that logged ESF file so let's copy this and paste it under the same node now let me show you that SHS host let me show you that ok under that connect near to that connect you can see that sgt boostipco so this is your SHS host just copy it let me type that this is SSS host so that it will be easier when you will see the okay now SSS host we show you that uh, this 995 this is your port copy it and place it on the port section so it will be easier so through this step we are collecting the information data to make a new ESI file so host you can see the host api.google.com that is the host you need to enter it while creating a payload under the words or IP. Now you can see that X online host api.google.com X forward host api.google.com and under the connection keep alive. This means these are the teeth while making a payload so let me show you let's type the url or host api.google.com and you can see that connect that is the request method and click online host forward host and keep alive and just get the idea from that online host forward host and keep alive so click on generate payload now here you have created your payload so you can see that this is the payload and same thing for remote proxy that scp dot scp1 dot boost ip dot co that is proxy so this is your new payload that you have generated from your locked ehi file that means you have successfully unlocked your ehi file so this was the tutorial guys thanks for watching
if you like this video please don't forget to share it with your friends and let them know the actual tutorial so thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe this channel for more amazing update thank you